The eagerly awaited clash between Max Bear and Tommy Farr draws a huge crowd to the Haringey Arena. Immediately after the gong goes for the first round, Farr in striped pants wades in, without being in the least overawed by the fact that he's fighting a former champion of the world. As in the fight with Ben Ford, it's a straight stabbing left that puts Bear at once on the defensive. And though in the malls, Bear manages to get in some telling uppercuts, Farr is not in the least perturbed. Early on in the fight, a cut over Bear's eye causes him some inconvenience. But the performance he puts up is not what we expected. Farr continues to dominate the fight with a pugnacious left. And Max is apparently having a little trouble, not only with his opponent, but with his shorts, which refuse to stay put. Bear is obviously puzzled at Farr's tactics. The Welshman bobs and ducks all over the ring. And even when Bear does score at close quarters, his punches have none of their old venom. Gone too is the air of gay abandon with which he entered the ring. Farr is reaching Bear's nose with ease, and one poke sends the American's head back with a real snap. The contest continues with Farr very aggressive. The Welshman's dancing around on his toes, and the American flat-footed and not nearly so agile. A curious incident occurred at the end of the ninth round. Owing to the cheering of the crowd, neither of the men hear the gong, and they continue fighting until separated by Mr. Douglas, the referee. Bear's left does not carry a punch. He seems to be using it as a sort of range finder. And when he does bring over a right, Tommy just isn't the... Ex-heavyweight champion Max Bear may have beaten Tommy Farr, but as you can see, it took some doing. And now they say he's heading for a comeback. Say, Maxie, did Farr's punches hurt? Hurt me? The chins look like I ran into a ring post? Certainly hurt. Max, uh, they're saying that you had champion Baby Bear in your corner. You bet. I had an incentive to fight for. A little boy of mine, you know. Sixteen pounds, two ounces, three months old. He's worth fighting for.